Hedonism. The word itself evokes images of lavish feasts, carefree laughter, and a life devoted to indulging the senses. But hedonism, as a philosophy, is far more nuanced than its popular portrayal might suggest. At its core, hedonism is the idea that pleasure is the ultimate good and pain is the ultimate evil. It's a philosophy that has captivated thinkers for centuries, sparking debates about the nature of happiness, the meaning of life, and the very essence of what it means to live well. Hedonism, in its various forms, argues that our actions should be guided by the pursuit of pleasure and the avoidance of pain. This simple yet powerful idea has profound implications for how we understand morality, ethics, and the human condition. Is pleasure truly the ultimate goal of life? Should we always strive to maximize our own happiness, even at the expense of others? These are just some of the questions that hedonism grapples with. Understanding hedonism requires delving into its different forms, its historical roots, and the criticisms it has faced. By exploring the complexities of this often misunderstood philosophy, we can gain a richer understanding of our own desires, motivations, and what it truly means to lead a fulfilling life. Hedonism is not a monolithic philosophy. It encompasses a range of views on the nature of pleasure, its role in our lives, and how it should guide our actions. To truly understand hedonism, we need to differentiate between its various forms. One important distinction is between folk hedonism, value hedonism, prudential hedonism, motivational hedonism, and normative hedonism. Folk hedonism, often seen in popular culture, claims that people are motivated solely by the pursuit of pleasure and the avoidance of pain. Value hedonism, on the other hand, focuses on the intrinsic value of pleasure and the disvalue of pain. It argues that pleasure is inherently good, while pain is inherently bad. Prudential hedonism posits that the best way to live is to maximize one's own pleasure over a lifetime. This form of hedonism emphasizes long-term happiness and well-being, rather than simply seeking immediate gratification. Motivational hedonism explores the idea that pleasure and pain are the sole motivators for human action. It suggests that all our choices, even those seemingly selfless, are ultimately driven by the desire for pleasure or the avoidance of pain. Finally, normative hedonism argues that pleasure is the only true good and should be the ultimate guide for moral decision-making. It suggests that actions that promote pleasure are morally right, while those that cause pain are morally wrong. By understanding these different forms of hedonism, we can begin to appreciate the nuances of this complex and often misunderstood philosophy.